Hello, everyone. Hello, Bogan. How Hello. are you doing? Fine. This is the first time we're doing this introduction. Yes. Star Wars, baby. Just the two of us. Just the two of us. Hey, no, da, not, da, not just da, the two da, of da, you. Da. Oh, what? Who's this? Who snuck into the uh, the no Daniel allowed fort that <laughs> Bogan and I had constructed for our Star Wars viewing? <laughs> oh, now I feel. Hey, hurt. Daniel. The guy who hey, doesn't Daniel. want to be here. Because uh, he's I, a hater. I, I, Oh, I'm Vader. I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. No, with you're that. a hater. No, I'm Vader. <laughs> you can't take it away from me now. Stop making fun of my speech impediment. <laughs> yeah, you're mocking. You're mocking the man's uh, speech I mean, impediment. I mean, what do you expect? I'm a Sith Lord. You can't. You Was can't Darth Vader ever a Sith Lord? What wasn't Vader a Sith Lord? I don't yes. know. Pretty I think sure Acer needs to answer this. I I, I mean well, I doubt he was a a Sith knight. You know, like he was. No, he was a lord. He was a Sith lord. He wasn't. He wasn't no Padawan. No, but he he was still the apprentice. It all comes back to Darth Bane's rule of two, which we will not be getting into. Are you guys ready to press play? Oh God! <laughs> Did we say what we're watching? Um. Rise of the Skywalker. <laughs> the Rise ah! of Skywalker. I don't want to do rise this. Of Star Wars. <laughs> Star Wars. Oh my God! It's Star I'm Wars dread- Nine. I am everyone. dreading this. I am. I am one hundred percent expecting this to be two and a half hours of just dumpster fire. <laughs> so, I have seen this movie. You two haven't. How do you want me to commentate on this? Uh, we'll just do what we did with Solo. Let's just rip th- riff through it, I guess. I mean, just don't spoil anything. Hmm. <laughs> That's going to be hard, you know? I mean, I but want okay. I want to be surprised. I want my, my reactions to be genuine when I I when want I your reactions to be genuine, too. Like, cause I don't, I, I don't want to know that this shit is going to be flung in my face. I want just, it to be a surprise. You'll just, uh, when we ask you, hey, what is, th- who's this guy? What's happening? I wasn't paying attention. You can help us answer. Oh sure. And we should press play soon, because it's already two and a half minutes. <laughs> I don't want to <laughs> appear any longer than I have to. <laughs> All right, let's do it. All right. When I say play, we all press play together, and then I'm gonna shout the stuff that's happening on screen, so we'll know we're all synced. Okay. All right. Yep. All right. Three, two, one. Play. Ah, oh, the Lucasfilm logo. Yes. Lucasfilm Limited. How do you feel about not having the uh, Fox drum beat, Daniel? A long time ago in Galaxy Far, Far Away. I, How do you feel I, about it? I feel it? okay. You know, it's not too bad. Yeah. Star Wars. Uh, you don't miss it. No, I'm fine. No, that's that's not the Maybe. aspect of Star Wars that makes me feel nostalgic. It's this: the music, uh, the 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 crawl, the, the 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 text crawl. Like this is like ah, oh, makes me feel comfy. Like you know, a sa- oh my, this Saturday is a really, morning uh, with hot chocolate and marshmallows. The dead speak. That's a very Pirates of the Caribbean. A galaxy has heard a mysterious broadcast from Fortnite. <laughs> threat of, That's true. A threat of revenge. General plastic face CGI reincarnation of an actress Leia Organa. Oh god! <laughs> I've seen that little scene. She looks horrendous in this movie. That's so. Oh my god! Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. Blah 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 blah. Determined to destroy any threat to his power. So he's determined to destroy any threat to his power. Yes. So, like, not his army or what, just his power. The the concept of his power. I guess. I don't know. I just, the, uh, I just think that's a bit of a awkward phrasing. Well, the Sith believe that, uh, if I remember the Darth Bane books correctly, the Sith believe that there is a limited amount of force energy in the world and that the more force users there are, the more it becomes distilled. Okay. But I might be misremembering that. 
Oh, look at this. What a badass. Oh, we've got we've got some lightsaber action. What are these goblins thinking running into the guy with a lightsaber with their <laughs> little spears? Well, you can't shoot him from far either. What are yeah, you going to do? I guess not. I don't even know what the fuck this is. Yeah, what 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 <laughs> What does he fight? Why? What? What's this? This fight is really for? choppy editing. What? What's the the purpose of this fight? He's trying to get that. A MacGuffin. Yes. Oh, the MacGuffins. <laughs> so many MacGuffins! Holy fuck! Is that a Sith holocron? Do you I want guess. the answer? I guess. Sure. It is. Actually, oh. it, it's not a holocron. Wait, what? Oh. What is a holocron? I think a it's... holocron is like a, a a technological magical diary. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's it. Except it's a literal uh. hologram. No, but hmm. I think it's a key. Actually, I'm not sure if it also has stored information. I mean, visuals right, look now nice, this is I the... guess, but I mean that's to be expected. This is the Emperor Palpatine this is a cool lightning shot. planet. A little too dark, but, you know, it's fine. Oh, you want to talk about dark, you should have been there on the solo commentary. There were scenes that were I so poorly you know, lit. You know what? I haven't seen solo. I should have been on that one, but oh well. I'm here now. After you this, totally Daniel... Miss, didn't miss anything. The movie <laughs> was garbage. After this commentary, I, I, I... I will join the elite of people who have seen all the Star Wars movies. <laughs> I've heard more mixed things about Solo. Like, some people like it, and some people are just like, eh, it was, it was there. Uh, I think the thing with Solo is that nobody had any expectations for it. So, what it does, it does in, like... It's it's fine. You can watch it. It's just a, like, generic movie. But it, it nobody expected it to be, like, the movie of the era. Like, they keep marketing these Star Wars movies as being... It was fine. He made. I hope you it just, was front loaded. You just heard that he made Snoke. Oh. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Did he he's, like he snort him out of a Vader. test tube? Yes, literally. You will see That's in so a moment. so stupid. Yes, it is. Oh my god! There we go. What the fuck is this? There we go. What is this? This is so weird. This, is this definitely isn't retconning. Three minutes into the movie. This is They're so dumping weird. this. Oh, that's... Oh, that's not a powerful. glamorous shot. Palpatine's looking a bit grimy. Ew. <laughs> Clean your fingers, my man. So, Palpatine and... was uh, was smoked at the end of uh, episode six. Yes. So is this the same Palpatine, or is this like? A... Uh, I think a... they've. A... A... I think they've. The, the movie retcons episode six, but I think the novel retcons the movie. <laughs> Where this, Look at I think this. It, what am I? Uh, he has a fleet, a giant how? fleet out of Where nowhere. Where did he get this from? He conjured it. Kill, kill the girl. Why does he care? End the Jedi. Oh, you will see why he cares. Oh, that's good. Oh no. Wait, he, Daniel, wait, you don't know anything know about, about this movie. Wait, how does he oh, know Daniel, about it? Oh, what? Daniel. What? Daniel, you don't know anything about this movie, do you? <laughs> no, I don't. Oh my God! Jesus. Well, I won't I'm going say in that. She's not who you think she is. Like, within five five minutes, they conjure up this fleet. These are your stakes now. <laughs> Out of nowhere, Palpatine is alive, and he has a giant fleet that can dominate the universe. Bam! But like, go. Okay, then, like, where was he in the previous films? What was he doing? I, well, he was building the fleet, apparently. And he was Snoke. This seems ridiculous. 
You think? John Boyega just keeps getting worse and worse in these movies. <laughs> that's I liked him in the first one, kind of. That's the one thing people like about this movie, though, is his and Poe Dameron's chemistry. Yes. I know the gay community wanted them to end up together. Yeah. And Disney was like, no. But here's a lesbian kiss in the background. It's kind of weird, though, because, like, Poe, they, they were kind of building him up to be with Ray in the first movie. And then all of a sudden, it's the, uh, what's her name, Rose in Last Jedi. They kiss. Oh, you mean Finn? Finn, yeah. yeah Poe didn't meet Ray until, like, movie two. No, I meant, I meant Finn, not Poe. Yeah. I'm sorry. Um, they have a spy in the First Order. It, Please remember. In my, in my defense, I feel like Poe po and Finn's characters um are very similar and they kind of fulfill similar roles mm. and that's because they never did anything with finn i mean poe dameron yeah. is kind of generic but finn has an interesting backstory they just never did anything with yeah i agree with that i can't believe they dumped the expanded universe for this shit <laughs> <laughs> Knights of the Old Republic, gone. It's just, we have no the idea where trilogy. the fuck they are or what their goal is. Or... Kyle Katarn, but we, no longer we're already exists. having We're already having two action scenes. Oh, yeah. Who's that the people snail like? in the they, background? That's what the people like. They want to see, you know, ships flying and lasers blasting. And hey, I like that too, but there needs to be some um, emotional context in order for them to have any resonance. And right now, I don't feel anything. I'm just like, okay, we're just seeing a bunch of shit. Yeah. I mean, you know they're not in any danger. I don't know if you guys have ever seen the Family Guy Star Wars special. Yeah, Parts but they had that joke. Like... Where they're on episode five, they're on the Minoc thing or whatever. And someone says, oh no, we're going to die. And then... Jesus Christ, what is happening here? <laughs> oh yeah. It was a major plot point of movie seven that Han Solo was going to do a light speed to jump onto the surface of a planet. And Poe Dameron's just toying around with it. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, this is like uh, Guardians of the Galaxy 2. What? The it feels like there's just so much shit happening at once. Okay. Now, now, <laughs> We're now already finally... moving on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's I... the best written character in the Star Wars universe. And I kind of liked her in the first movie, too. Yes. I feel bad for her, for the actress. This was uh, when I first yeah. was reeling back in the cinema. Like We went from an all-out action chase in one minute to this. It's it's very j jarring, like. Uh, this isn't a CGI cut. This like they didn't clip this uh, performance of her from a cutscene. Okay, now she's running around. For some reason, now she's being chased by... What? She, is this she just had a lightsaber out, and now... Oh. Is this... So she's training. She's training yes. with Leia, yeah. Which kind of begs the question, why did they need Luke? Yeah. Yeah, if she could have just trained with Leia. Oh, there it is. You know, I don't remember which Star Wars book it was, but um, it may have been the Bane trilogy again. But there was this uh, idea they expressed mm -hmm. there, which was that, uh, I believe it was the Mandalorian War, which was when the Jedi lost their way, because they're supposed to be these sort of monks who just f feel the Force and the li life and the universe and all that jazz, but they've become corrupted because they... like. The lightsaber, for example, 
in the philosophy of the Jedi, there is no actual room for that. You shouldn't you shouldn't have a weapon, but that they've sort of just hollowed themselves out to become these intergalactic cops. Mm. And uh, that movie, that book was probably better than this movie. <laughs> also, what the way that she took out the little droid thing is like totally wrong. All she's supposed to do is just deflect the shots. And she's like going out of her way to destroy it. It's like, that's, that's not the point of that thing. Yeah, it, it's not going to kill you. <laughs> it's just a little training droid. Yeah, it's it's just supposed... The whole point is that you, you put the helmet on and it shoots you and you just deflect the, the, the shots using the force. That's, that's all it's supposed to be for. And then they, they use it for this weird action-packed training sequence. Like, I'm sure it sounds like I'm nitpicking, but it just seems weird to me. Oh my god, it's the Tentative 4. I feel bad for the people who build these sets, because these sets look really great. Do you think this is a set? Hmm. I think it's CGI. I um, think yeah, it's probably a mix. Yeah. Maybe, you know, maybe they're in a jungle and they build some stuff in the jungle. <laughs> <laughs> that, I mean, probably not. But oh, was it was it in uh, the last Jedi commentary book in where I was talking about uh, Billy Lord, Carrie Fisher's daughter, and you were asking me if uh, Laura Dern <laughs> was her daughter? No, I did not ask that. <laughs> oh, you? She, we had some conversation like yeah, that. Yeah, we did. She probably there was some other character standing next to Laura Dern, and I was asking about her. I know mm. what the fuck Laura mm. Dern is. <laughs> why does this movie feel like it's moving so fast that's the movie you should have because you should have watched the Fortnite promo you would have yeah <laughs> no but that's okay the now movie. suddenly like, this thing's on fire okay no warning it's not going to leave you any room to think and, and it doesn't want you to think fucking poe is here now yeah and he's dressed like indiana jones well they they've fled now they're here. It's a problem. It Even their dialogue like is too fast. Everything is too fast. It feels like they had so much shit. They had so much material. And instead of like parsing it, they're just like, shove it all in there. Oh my god, these characters have so much chemistry together. No spy. No spy. Ugh. Molly, 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 molly. Oscar Isaacs is like a good actor, though. He'll survive this movie. Daniel, do you want him to play Solid Snake in the Metal Gear Solid movie? Eh, why not? I don't think he's right. Spoken and I talked about this. I think he's too... Uh, he's too he, young, I, for one. Uh, I think... I don't... I just... I don't buy it. Well, I think the problem is that, like, Solid Snake carries himself as, like, this seasoned veteran. And, uh... Yeah, I don't really get that vibe. But he's an actor. He can probably fake it. the The real question is: Do you think he should, he could play Liquid Snake? Uh, dye dye his hair blonde. Yeah, I guess. British accent. The hidden world of the Sith. They just invented that. The hidden world of the Sith. Yeah, that's where Palpatine is. Hey, Rose was there. That's Lupita Nyong'o. She's an she's an Academy Award winning actress. <laughs> she's playing that little gremlin. <laughs> <laughs> also, the the Hobbit is also there. One of the Hobbits. Don't know what. Ah. Charlie from Lost. He has like three lines, and he's in the are, movie wait, for some these, reason. Are these the same books that got burned in the previous movie? Yeah, Ray, no, she Ray saved took them. them at the end. She did? I don't remember she that. She did. She stole them from Luke. 
Yeah. Uh, Page turners. Uh, they were not. Marius in this movie. Uh, he was in Lost, wasn't he? Yes. You said that, didn't you? Yes. Yeah. That's that's a J.J. Abrams. Uh, oh right, thing. that's probably his friend. Yeah. Exegol. Why didn't they make that Corriban? Look, guys, the, the ship is fixed. We can move on. Ugh, C-3PO. Like, this is so... Oh, it's so emotional. They're, they're going to help Ray out. It has not been established at all that there's danger or that they were falling apart or whatever. It's just like, of course they're going. But the music is making a big deal out of it. Yeah. And then, of course, you saw uh, Rose in the last movie almost doomed them all, trying to be selfless and saving Finn. And he's like, okay, buddy, we're going. <laughs> I don't think he would have been able to destroy the uh, the laser. I think it would have been a much better resolution to his character, but... Like I, I, I think that in the reality of this of the of the current canon, I'm willing to say that he would have just died if he'd crashed into it. And nothing would Probably. have Probably. But that's not the, the point. The point is people hated Rose and so now she has no role. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine if they'd stuck to their guns and just like, no, we'll 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 continue on the Ryan Johnson movie. <laughs> just imagine. Like I mean, it would have been more cohesive. Yeah. Look how emotional this is. They had. They asked they him had to one come back together. to make this one. And she's she's crying over this, but like, we have we didn't all, see it. all we've seen of their relationship is like, they barely had a relationship in the previous films, and here it shows. Oh yeah, they trained together for a bit, and that's it. In in it episode eight, they were always in a different place. I don't even know if yeah. Carrie Fisher and, and Ray were in the same frame once in episode eight. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, no, not there, episode no. eight. In, in, in episode eight, yeah, it's, it, there were in the same frame, but not often. Uh, probably at the end. Yeah, there was. Well, the end was the only point where they were actually on the same planet. Yeah. Prior but, to that, but the point I was making is that, like, yeah, they, they, they're trying to trick you into thinking that, that these are these emotional moments, but there's no actual build up to this payoff. So it doesn't, it feels out of context. So why why did he rebuild his helmet? <laughs> it looks so because shitty Ryan too. Johnson sucks. Yeah, fuck Ryan Johnson. Yeah, that feels so much like. <laughs> oh no, not not this Sticking character. Oh my god, this looks exactly like that scene in episode 4. You know, it would have been more interesting if he made a new helmet. Look at this, Daniel. Bogan and I talked about this in the last commentary. The First Order, say what you want about them. They're a hell of a lot more inclusive than the Empire ever was. There are women there. There are non-white people there. So how bad are they, really? <laughs> <laughs> Aren't they supposed to be space Nazis? <clears throat> yeah. But I suppose it's only against non-humans. They don't do infighting within their groups. Uh, role models for reality, I would say. The First I Order. Mean, <laughs> I mean, to be fair, even the Empire, it was kind of vague what their deal was. They were just, like, super powerful... And they oppressed everyone, and that's all you really needed to know. Oh, that's a bit excessive. You couldn't just choke him? D uh, For real. Like, this, he just this asked what... He just asked a question. That feels like a ripoff of the scene from episode four, except yeah. way worse. He just asked what the fuck Palpatine wanted. <laughs> I, uh, I think we talked about this, Bogan, but that's one of my favorite scenes when that guy's talking to Vader. And who who do you think you are? talking to it like this guy is clearly he's clearly touched in the head he's two meters tall he's clearly gonna kill you and you just insulted his crazy religion what's wrong with you i feel? find your lack of faith disturbing like that's such a great scene 
There's C-3PO, the worst character in all of these movies. Uh, why is this happening? I don't know. I mean, they're looking for... Uh, you guys probably weren't paying attention. I missed it too, but I know what they're looking for. But They're looking for a spy, aren't they? No, they're looking for a clue to get to Exegol. Ah. Uh oh, my 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 video is stuttering. <gasps> yeah, it keeps it keeps stopping and then speeding up. Oh, it's speeding up a lot. <laughs> okay, that's just the movie, Daniel. <laughs> okay, I, it was I, edited, I see uh, but... Ray walking around. Yeah. Okay, so Should it looks be like fine. caught up. Look at these little pig children. Yeah, pig this children. Is, this is incredibly them. unsettling. <laughs> Oh no, my no. Oh this is so pointless. Oh. oh well she gets a necklace. That's pretty. There's a lot of shots in this movie. We're we're twenty minutes in. I think there've been three or four shots at this point, which are just like the camera po- pulls in on Ray and she has like a look where she looks pe- into the distance. She's doing it again. (laughs) (laughs) This is an important theme. She just said she does not have a second name. Uh, Okay, why is it nighttime now? Is this a vision? Okay. I want to live in the universe where they decided to join up and they became like a space Nazi power couple. And then 60 year old Luke Skywalker has to come out and fix it again. (laughs) It's like, God damn it. You're supposed to be a Jedi. Stop being so horny. Yeah. I don't know if you've watched the original trilogy recently. Those characters are horny as hell. No, yeah. There's a lot of uh, hormones flowing around. No, I remember uh, bef- before Luke realized it was his sister. You know, he, he had the hot for her. And uh, she had the hots for Han Solo. Oh, hey. How, they did wait, the thing. how does that he, work? He what? He just touched her boobs. How did he grab it? What? But that's their power. Like, that's how their the f- connection. That happened in episode 8. Did it? As well. What kind yeah, of? Yeah, his, uh, his hand got wet. Yeah, while, while she was standing in the rain. Okay, I guess. That dude looks like Christopher Walken. <laughs> <laughs> I think he was rumored to be playing uh, Grand Admiral Thrawn. Bow and arrow to the face, Well, that's a fantastic yeah, helmet protection. What is going on protection. in this movie? <laughs> Oh, let's just drag our characters through these set pieces. <laughs> Imagine how much money this must have cost. Oh, this just movie's this budget up. was like two hundred and fifty million, I think. This must have been incredibly. Oh, good lord! Oh. He looks like a potato. <laughs> Lando? They couldn't de-age oh, him a little bit. Oh god! I forgot <laughs> that this is happening. Oh. Oh, this must have been incredibly fun to work on, though. Like set decorating and showing up to these places, getting to wear this stuff. Yeah, sure. And then having to spend seven months on a marketing campaign where everybody's calling you a shitty person. (laughs) Uh. All right. That's that's Lando. Okay, but... Oh, wait a what? minute. They colored this. They did DH him a little bit. So I, I need to ask, though. What What's he doing here? How he, did they... Like, did they just happen to find this him? Is, or, or... No, no. They, he happened to be here. This is confusing me, too. I, th- I think they're looking for the same thing. Oh. But what? he... I don't know why. And he was looking for that ship that had that Wayfinder... 
But what the fuck were they looking for then? Why are they here? I don't know. But like, did they literally just happen to find him? Like they just yeah, randomly no, they weren't looking it? for Lando. He just randomly was there. I think. What the fuck? They, give Leia. Le- give uh, give Lando Leia was looking love. for a Jedi hunter. Oh no! And his wayfinder, which is on his ship, and he found his ship, but it's empty. And now they're going to his ship, but I don't know why they came here in the first place. I think they're looking Hold for on a, a clue. Wait a minute. Did you guys see in the background there, there was like an anteater elephant robot. Yeah. I, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I like that. I think that's cool. It's kind of neat. Oh, I think I'm back on board. I think they are here because the spy told them to go here, but I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure if they know what they're looking for. Why do they have wheels? Yeah, that's... Also, this is not impressive. They've had this technology since the Clone Wars, at least. They fly They've had now. this technology for over 4,000 years. Yeah, wheels would be kind of shitty on a, on a rocky desert. I mean, the jet... I'm, I'm now talking about the jetpacks. Yeah. Oh, that's... Yeah. Uh, yeah, Lando... Uh, Boba joke. Fett had a jetpack. Jenko Fett had a... Like, the Mandalorians yeah, right, 4,000 right. years ago had jetpacks. <laughs> that's true. I wish I was watching this... The Mandalorian instead. I'm really looking forward to Taika Waititi's Star Wars movie. I always I'm, I I haven't gone a Star Wars commentary yet without saying this, but I love it when Star Wars is silly, and I think he's just the man for the job. Uh, I I believe Taika Waititi directed some of the episodes of The Mandalorian. Yeah, he directed the second last one, I believe, which he, was he also, also the he, best he one. He directed the last episode. For sure. Oh. Yeah. Oh I, yes, he did. Yeah, he did. I I literally just saw the last episode today. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, he's a. I think he's a really good choice. I agree. That like who? Yeah. He's he's so creative, and he can be so funny, and he's so good with characters. Meanwhile, J.J. J. Abrams over here. He's such a soulless, just computer, how do you make a nerd movie kind of guy. And they keep giving him a job. And now they want him to direct a Superman movie. I don't want him to make a Superman movie. But I mean, it's not really up to me, I guess. Oh, this I guy mean, can aim. J.J. Abrams isn't too bad if you give him a decent script. I can't. Well, I mean, yeah, he can put together a movie, all right, but it's like his story ideas are so crappy. Did you ever read the script for Superman Flyby, knowing that you didn't? Oh, no, oh. He, he wrote a Superman Look, script a long they, time ago, and it's really bad. They happened to land on the one patch of quicksand, all of them. Uh, all of them. Yeah. You know, <laughs> that's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> this is really bad CGI, by the way. Look at that little small patch throughout the whole... And they just happen to... Oh, my God. To all in. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. Well, we'll just leave him. Look, it's young but Spencer. Let's not resolve the uh, the issue with the characters. Let's just move somewhere else and then get Wait, back to it. What was he going to say? He was like, oh, I was... Uh, I never met... I never got a chance to t- tell you what. Is, is that going to get resolved? Do you want the answer? It's not going to get resolved, is it? It is not going to get resolved. No. This is a really shitty flashlight he's got there. Yeah. It does nothing. (laughs) Look at that. I feel like this universe is advanced enough that it doesn't need flashlights anymore, but they probably could have some other invention. I have a flashlight on my phone. That lightsaber broke in the end of the last movie. Did she reassemble it? Probably. I, I guess. No, I, I think Leia gave her one. I'm not sure if it's the same one. I, I think it is. 
For some reason... Isn't it the, the same hilt? The movie keeps buffering for me, so I think I've lost... I'm out of sync with you guys now. <laughs> the movie is so bad that, like, my, my internet's just like, what are you doing? <laughs> well, is can, that a speed? I can give you a time code. All right, where are you at? I can give you one. I'm at 3140. Whoa. Yeah, told no, you. You give him one, Bogan. I'm a few seconds. Okay. 31, 20, uh, tw- 32, 27, 28, 29. Okay. Same 32, now. 35. Uh, yeah. 32, okay, 40. Is... I mean, what is this planet? Let me just try and get ahead and see if it syncs back up. All it's right. just a desert planet. Okay, I see right. Ray with a lightsaber and she's picking up some dagger. Yeah, yeah you, okay, you're, bit, you're where we are. A bit too far in. Maybe stop one second, but then it's fine. Okay, one, two, three, going back. I'm at 3310. Yeah, that sounds about right. Be. All right. Isn't this great oh my content, God. dear listener? <laughs> what this dagger? She just found this. Well, it's from the ship. That's the wayfinder they're looking for. Twenty point three fazillion languages. No way. I don't know about you guys. But oh, it's a hint I've to always, the wayfinder. I've always preferred green lightsabers over blue. Are you some kind of nerd? I like the yeah. purple ones. Were you some kind of honky? In uh, in Knights of the Old <laughs> Republic 2, you could have a silver lightsaber. That one's pretty cool. That was pretty cool. I'm super advanced and I love the dark saber because I'm so deep into the lore. No, it's because you're edgy. That's because okay, I'm edgy. no, pay attention. No, wait, pay the, attention. the dark saber showed up in, uh, in The Mandalorian, so... It's too it, normy now. Pay attention. Like anymore. This is important. This? Really? The snake thing? Yes. Oh my god, is Ray gonna be friends with it? Just kill it, man. Oh, it's... Oh, fuck. See, it's injured. Yes. This doesn't feel important at all. Oh, I know oh, it it's is very happen. important. That snake I looks like a penis. Me this is important. It looks like a giant penis. Do you guys notice? No. I think it's phallic <laughs> symbolism, imagery. Uh, it's... And then the woman comes and she what, she she she, she, she mends she mends the penis. It's it's symbolic somehow. Ugh. <laughs> oh. oh no. <laughs> Look, the only reason why the snake is here is so she can show she has this power now. Yeah. Don't you see it, Daniel? Its head looks like the tip of a penis. Its body, the body of a penis. So it's a the... snake. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> so the only purpose is to show that she has that ability? Yes. People were super mad about this ability. Uh, force healing has been in the canon for at least 30 years. Yeah. Yes. But it was it's never in the new. movies. Like, uh, yeah, yes, it was. Uh, there's a scene in the first movie where when uh, Luke Skywalker, after he's been knocked out by the sand people, although this, this may actually be just retconned into the novelization, but when Obi-Wan puts his hand on Luke's head, he is, he is uh, canonically healing him. But that's not really made evident in the movie, I must say. Disregard what I said. <laughs> uh. I mean, yeah, force healing is not anything new. We even see it in The Mandalorian as well. Yeah. Now, I think people had a problem with it, not because it's like lore breaking, but just because it's it's people hate Ray's character and because they, they think she's too powerful. It's like, oh, here's another fucking ability she has. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it. Uh, 
I, mean, I, I do, feel, though. I feel like not I that she's... What's up? Not that she's too powerful, but I think that they in, instead of giving her a really interesting characterization, they just gave her a bunch of abilities. I do feel she like her know, character she is a any of it. She's not like an awful character. It's the the biggest problem is just that she's just wasted potential. Like there's a lot of interesting stuff that they could have done with her, but she's yes, and kind of not. It probably wouldn't be such an issue if they weren't if the movie wasn't it, it wouldn't be an issue if if the movie didn't rely on her being a character we were interested in. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, I saw this in the trailer. Kylo Ren is going to show up. Spoiler alert, Daniel. Yeah, I saw it. That, that, I think that's one of the only things I've seen. There he is. The oh my beforehand. god. So wait, why is he even here? Does he like sense her and he's like, yeah. I'm going to get you. I think they can feel where the other is, but only sometimes. I don't know. Yeah, when it's convenient for the plot. And here come these secondary characters to not influence affairs. <laughs> why would why did they bring C three PO? I guess he knows languages. Oh Chewbacca, why would you dumbass? Why are you leaving the group and taking the dagger with you? You dumb fuck. <laughs> Chewbacca. I'm would more never do I'm that. more annoyed by how Chewbacca looks. Like, why does he look so fucking scraggly? He's in the desert. No, but he'd been cooked up in the ship, right? Oh, yeah, I guess. See, it's the same lightsaber. I didn't see the middle. Maybe it has, like, a bandage bandage in the middle. Just some tape. Remember, Kylo Ren was saying he will turn Rey to the dark side. And now he's trying to crash into her? Yeah, what what is why? What is this? Why is he, he running? Do a backflip. I know, but why didn't he just do that? Yeah, oh, she's, she's baiting no him. She's baiting him. It's like that scene from Lupin the Third. Uh, th- you know, it would have been cooler there. if she did did it like a samurai, where she's like, looks like she's meditating, and then she just fucking like slices it off. Oh, she, you mean she's just sitting there, and then like, he flies by, and then she's just standing and having ignited her lightsaber? Yeah, that would have been cooler, yeah. rather than this like, over the top flip thing. Look at her. (laughs) He's so not faced by it. It's almost as if the actor wasn't actually in the ball while it was rolling. (laughs) What, they couldn't frazzle up his hair a bit? Oh my god, which one of them is more powerful? This is super exciting. Oh my god, are you fucking (laughs) serious right now? What is this shit? (laughs) <laughs> oh my god. I hate, I hate this movie. Oh my god, Ray. <gasps> oh my god. What? Oh my god, she killed Chewie. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, fuck this movie. <laughs> oh my god, fuck this movie. Oh my god. Ray with the co- Finn with the commentary. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, just put this movie in the trash. <laughs> fuck this movie. Oh my god. Uh, did you guys see that? Are you really gonna do Chewie like that? Just have him die oh. because she accidentally shot lightning? Get the fuck out of here. This is the worst. Look, she's not in well, control. Well, they set up. The she powers. has force healing, Daniel. You don't know yet. Dude, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I'm I'm done. I'm done with this movie. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> we still got two hours to go. 
What do you mean <laughs> Ren made it? What? What kind of logic is that? Uh, this is another thing. I, I may have talked about this, uh, Bogan, before, but uh, the, the Dark Bane trilogy, they seem to imply that the dark side of the Force, it wasn't that... It, the, the Force was never really described as this sort of pool of energy you draw from. It's more just a... Uh, a, a metaphor for your relationship with the world and the dark side of the force, it's more powerful at the expense of corrupting your relationship with the world. So you consume more than you produce and stuff like that. And uh, the J.J. Abrams Star Wars movies, they don't have that. The, the philosophical dimension of the force is really lacking in these movies, I feel. Yeah, there's no philosophy. Like right there how does that relate to anything? What, she was mad so that she shot lightning? Look, he's That's alive! That's dumb. Oh my god. Oh, so I don't know why. Alive? How do you survive And he's that? Chinese. <laughs> what? What's wrong with his eyes? I think he was on, on another ship or something. I guess. And they dragged this out for a whole lot of five minutes. Oh my god. This is so dumb. What is this movie? Oh, you know, you know the prequels are really fucking boring, but I think I'm I, I think I'm starting to hate this more than the prequels. <laughs> like this is pretty bad. We talked about this before. I think the prequels could have been salvaged by just a better director. I think that's literally all they needed. Tighten up the script a little bit, but as for the story, I think it totally works. Maybe like that sort of that I, the I'd Clone to... Wars is what di uh, di distances Anakin from the Jedi. He starts feeling their philosophy stupid. I like I, I like all of that. Just get get it in the hands of an actual movie maker, not uh, George Lucas's latte sipping ass. Sure, I can. This I, I can agree that a, be a better director would have made those movies a lot better. This is the exact opposite, where. All the production values, but none of the substance. No, yeah, this feels hollow. This, and I, I usually don't like using such wishy-washy terms, but like this, this movie just—I don't know. This 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 whole movie is just rubbing me the wrong way. Which do you think is more hollow, Rise of Skywalker or Hollow Knight? Ooh. Ha. Take that. Hey, it's Theo. I know him from the marketing and assorted JoJo memes. Look, we got a new toy to sell. <laughs> oh! What the fuck is the point of this? I don't know. I don't know. They keep traveling to different places. I think you guys missed what, what happened, right? Like, why they're here? I I did. I don't yeah. know why they're here. <laughs> See, you're not paying attention, Daniel. I'm trying. But no, this they... movie sucks. <laughs> they, uh... I, I would have missed this, too, if I didn't hadn't already seen this think that's a problem with our commentaries <laughs> no sure I, I will i will at least give the movie this like but it's still commenting dumb. over it's... it is isn't isn't doing it any favor it, it is moving too fast for sure no they're here but, because yeah. they they want to uh zap into uh c3po's memory because he has the the shape of the wayfinder and the imprint in his in his memory and they need to get it out why somehow. Because the actual Wayfinder is with Chewbacca. Yeah, oh, oh, you mean he has, the, he has the shape and memory from five minutes earlier when he saw it. Yeah. Who is this? Oh, okay. That's, uh... Who the fuck is this? That's, and that's one of J. J. Abrams' uh, friends, actresses. What's her name? 
Okay, but <sighs> it's Zori Bliss. Well, the character is called that. Yeah, Zori. She just what a randomly appeared state of out of nowhere, just so happened to pull a gun on him. Like, did she know he was here? Like, what was she doing? What? What the fuck? This movie. Oh my god! Fuck this movie. Also, She's there's... very underdressed for the snowy weather, <laughs> I must say. Also, there are stormtroopers patrolling the area, but not this one. So what? Oh my god! This was just an excuse. This for a was poorly... really badly edited. I was gonna say it was. Is this just for the sake of a poorly edited fight? I don't like these flickering effects they do on the lightsabers now. Look, they're friends now. We move on. Oh, <laughs> fucking kill me. I love this movie. It's so bad. This movie is terrible. <laughs> oh my god. They have no time again, to develop anything. And again, it's like... It's so frustrating because, like, look at these sets. These are awesome sets. Like, they look really good. And you have some cool shots here and there. Like... Fapu's in the back. See, the problem with this movie is the general complaint is it's moving too fast because there are too many plot points. Um, And that's why they don't have any time to develop anything. But it's you don't need convoluted. any of these plot points. They're just hunting MacGuffins. You could do anything else. They're just hunting things that are not sure how they're... We are not sure how they're going to help. Remember in episode four where, you know, we spent time with Luke and his family. You got to feel for what his life was and, you know, starts to realize that there's there's more f- for him in life and you know it was like a yeah. like the w- the way that Luke the that Luke's character was in the beginning of the film compared to the end it felt like you know he had seen some stuff and he had changed do you remember in uh, Empire Strikes time. Back do you remember in Empire Strikes Back when R2D2 was rotating through uh, C3PO's memory why do they need to be here because they needed a droid smith oh couldn't just have r2d2 do it again i guess no, i guess not well no but it just felt like in in episode four like the one of the reasons why that movie worked is we were given enough time with the characters to really get a feel for who they were and that movie knew how to like pace things out. And this movie, its sense of pacing is fucking mm. atrocious. Like the moments where it slows down, like right now, like literally nothing is happening. Like we're not learning anything new about the characters. It's just, well, I mean, they just said they're going to wipe C-3PO's memory while recovering this good. data. That's good. And he's like, yes, I accept the sacrifice. Ugh. It's because Anthony Daniel is a thespian. He's such an actor. Ugh. Well, I like that little gremlin that's... Yeah. yeah that's cool. killed him. <laughs> cool, cool little animatronic. See, that's what I'm saying. Like... They could have made that some CGI monstro- monstrosity, but like, no, it's a puppet. That's cool. But it's in this shitty movie, so it feels wasted. Look, here's a character scene for you. The colonies, the hyperlinks. Okay, but we fun. don't really understand the nature of these two's relationship. Nope. So, like, even if this. Oh, that's a. Pay attention. This is important. Okay. Free passage through any blockade with that coin that she happens to have. What? That feels like a real plot convenient thing <laughs> to have. Why doesn't she just take the helmet off completely? 
Oh, do it, Poe. Why is it so get weirdly a, shaped? Get yourself a healthy MILF. He's <laughs> not going to do it. Because he's earnest. Didn't she want to kill him? Now she's like... <sighs> hey, he's a beautiful man, Daniel. You don't know. Maybe she fell in love with him from the moment they met ten minutes ago. But no, no they, they know each history. other. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I'm just... I'm praising but Oscar Isaac's looks. It's, it's you know, well, we as the man, view... I can't deny that. We as the viewer know them, have known them for like five minutes. Yes. Wasn't that no, emotionally and, impactful, though? And, I mean, I like I like the idea that, like, hey, here's this character. They, you know, they already have a history, and you don't really know what the history is. But like, the 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 nature of their interactions up to this point have been so wildly inconsistent that, like, just knowing that they have some sort of backstory doesn't excuse the inconsistency. Look, we have another ten planets to go on. We don't have time for this. <laughs> Oh. Why are his eyes red? He's evil now. Oh, God. In the Endor system. What do you mean, woohoo? Did 3CPO he just die? <laughs> yes man he's, he's like a minion they wiped so, his memory so he's dead well he's not going to be the same that's good uh, kill me kill me this movie is fucking murdering me <laughs> do you think it's possible that Disney will just do a clean slate and reboot the sequel trilogy I think what they should do is just like, wait, wait, he's back. Oh, he doesn't remember them. So he doesn't remember. Oh God, fuck this movie. <laughs> <laughs> now what they should do is either do Knights of the Old Republic and go like thousands of years in the past or go do the reverse and go thousands of years in the future and just like, remove themselves entirely from the original trilogy and the prequel trilogy just like and just just get away from this material you mean try to do something original but daniel they tried that it's these movies and they aren't awful <laughs> they're so no bad. but they're it, like this is not original no i'm not yeah, th this feels like it's just I, well, I, I can't even say this is like copying uh, Return of the Jedi because Return of the Jedi is a good movie. <laughs> this is just, uh, this is a fucking mess. Yeah, but I, I don't think the failure of these movies is that they don't do enough original shit. They do a lot of original stuff. It's just they do original stuff poorly. Okay, but I'm just saying at this point, since all of this has been tainted, that the oh only, the, oh yeah the only thing that they can do to salvage the the, the mere idea of a, of another Star Wars film is to get away from this as much as possible. <laughs> like they're just one, storming stop... into the Star Destroyer. Because for one, they're they're ruining the original trilogy, you know, with fucking. I mean, I haven't seen Solo to be fair, but you guys are like saying it's pretty bad. Like, it's not. It's not bad. It's just a nothing movie. Okay. But it's also there's a lot of bad acting and just nonsense, nonsensical my, plot. My my point is by just getting away from the original trilogy as much as possible, we ex exterminate the risk of ruining it further. <laughs> uh, oh, so she has Jedi persuasion as well. Well, she's she, always she had, had that, that in the seventh movie, like in the first one. Did she? Yeah. I don't remember that. She convinced oh, wait, Daniel wait, wait. Craig yeah, she to uh, did. When she let got, her go. When she, when got she pulled caught, it out of right? her ass. 
first when time. she got caught right okay yeah i remember now i mean to be fair that's she... that's kind of a common jedi ability so it's not too crazy for her to have it but that was when she wasn't even a jedi she just discovered that sure she just like out of nowhere was like oh i have this ability They're on a Star Destroyer. There's no one around. Like, they just killed five people in a hangar. How is that thing not on lockdown? You know what's interesting, guys? Uh, The last Jedi did something. I just realized this. Um, Empire Strikes Back. Luke's great challenge in the end has nothing to do with fighting Darth Vader or the Force. It's just coming to terms with his uh, lineage. Yeah. Uh, the Last Jedi did that too, where the uh, plot resolution had more to do with Rey and Kylo Ren's relationship. And, uh, and I, her I also doubt... coming to terms I... with the fact that her parents were like shitty people that just sold her. Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't a fight or force powers. I wonder if this movie is going to be able to pull that off or if the final battle will just be a bunch of lightning bolts. And What do you think? Given what we've seen so far. Given that J.J. Abrams ended The Force Awakens without an emotional climax. And it was just, oh, the planet is splintering and now the characters are are in different places. Oh my god, is he gonna die now? No, it was just the arm. Nope. Why why arrest them? Why not kill them? Yeah, just kill them outright. See, these, these, these stormtroopers' ethical considerations are way too highly tuned. These guys would be way, way more efficient if they were just a little bit more ruthless, I think. That's ridiculous. They have no reason to capture them. They would have just killed them. You know, I'm, 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 I don't know who was the one that said it, but I... I remember before this movie actually came out, someone had saw it early and the, and the person was like, this movie is epic. All of it. And I'm watching it now. I'm like, no, this has been decidedly unepic. What is that belt? What do you mean? Ray's mother. <laughs> what do you mean? Ray's mother. That's what the subtitle said. I know. <laughs> I needed to, needed to see what? Who she is. What, that included trying to ram into her? Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Oh, God. Look, being emotional is not the same as having your characters yelling. This movie doesn't let you process anything. Like, how am I supposed to feel right now? They will... keep doing this video game trick where the character moves in front of the camera and the scenery changes. I think that's kind of neat, though. I'll give it that. I've seen it in so many bad horror games that I don't need to see it in my Star Wars movies. <laughs> uh, come on. I, I'll, I'll at least give it a neat visual ah i guess i guess i'm looking this is me looking for something to hate you're right <laughs> why can't they just have a conversation why 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 lightsabers yeah. what is this <laughs> that's yeah, a good question that's a good point like why are they striking each other interdimensionally no, listen to this daniel i think it's gonna come up soon Oh, maybe not. <laughs> no, I'm striking you again. <laughs> oh, 
Wait, they're not in the same place? No, no. No, he, he is on the planet. Yeah. <laughs> Just wait, wait, wait right there. Why were they up. fighting each other? Because she knows who oh, she is. Oh, it's going to be an execution. Oh, he's going to do it himself. Oh, that's the guy that they did the Yo Mama joke with in The Last Jedi. God, that scene was terrible. That's Donald Gleason. He's a great actor. But that scene was terrible. That scene was terrible, and he's terrible in this movie, probably. He was bad in the last one. He was really good in The Force Awakens, though. Where he Wait, was just a crazy... Well, he's a good guy now? Uh-oh. <laughs> Oh my god, what a twist. I knew it. <laughs> what? Okay, you know what? That does kind of redeem his uh, turn from the last movie. I, I don't hate this. No, it doesn't, Asa. It does not at all. It what? is No, because he's like, he feels humiliated. He's like tired of this. He's like, oh, Kylo Ren, you suck and you've destroyed the First Order. You know what? So he's you can gonna just have it. So he's going to burn the First Order down entirely? Yeah, I think he's a petty. Like he does not strike me as a really honorable dude. I think he's petty enough. Yeah, but to then do he that. would be working from the shadows to kill Kylo Ren and take over, not not help nah, not help the is, rebels. This is this is fine. No, Boken. I don't dislike this. Boken. This is fine. Why did this you is shoot stupid? Him? So that he can pretend he they got away. See, he's just a petty bitch. He's like Daniel. This like, <laughs> what? I see it now. You're right. I was going to yes, defend you for you a second now, there, Bogan. but fuck you. Bogan, you agree with me now, don't you? Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> you guys are the worst. Putting me through the shitty movie. Then I got to watch fucking handshakers because of you. <laughs> <laughs> you... People are the worst. <clears throat> what I was going to say, though, was this guy Daniel. turning out to be the spy is the least of this movie's problems. Daniel. What? Did you miss it? Did you seriously just miss this? Wait, what what did he say? This is, what? She's Palpatine's granddaughter, dude. <laughs> Her mother was Palpatine's daughter. What? That is such a fucking retcon. And he yep. he had her killed because. Oh, I didn't lie to you. They were nothing. They 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 just happened to be actually super important people. They chose to be nothing. Yeah, they chose. <laughs> that is such a stupid retcon. Remember when oh they God, when when he so said bad. they told they sold her for drinking money? Hey, that was pretty cool. The way he just locks himself into the ground. I like that. Yeah, sure. That's neat. He's very ineffective, though. Just locked in place, I guess. Why can't he move like her? Wow, this movie is... Aggressively awful. Oh, they they killed my favorite character. <laughs> I imagine this is how the podcast will end one day with uh, me taking out Daniel. <laughs> I thought you mean the other way around. Yeah, you would be the spy. Oh. oh, you know what? That is true. I am the most sneaky rat-faced one of us. <laughs> I'm glad you have the self-awareness to uh, understand that. <laughs> oh, 
Although I, I'd imagine Boken would be the one to shoot you, not me. <laughs> Boken would just shoot me in the foot. Like the first time me and Boken would meet, he'd just like hit me in the shin with a crowbar. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I'll be the one to, to finish the job. <laughs> No, I mean, just on principle for all the hassle I've cost him. He's like, that wouldn't be him killing me. He just hit me in the shin. This is for Code Geass. (laughs) (coughs) She'll never be a Jedi. Kill her. The the twist that she's a Palpatine is so bad. It it ruins everything. Why isn't she Count Dooku's granddaughter? Why is she related to anyone? Wasn't the whole point of her like not being related to anyone in The Last Jedi is to say like, hey, it doesn't matter where you come from, you know, like you could still be someone great. You are what you choose to be. You're not, you aren't the lineage you're tracked to. Yeah, you're not yeah. defined by your lineage. And then this movie's like, no, no, no. Yeah, you are. Oh my God, it's the Death Star. That's a cool visual with the water and the Death Star. Oh my god, one of the most epic scenes is coming up. I don't trust your use of the word epic. It's epic schlock. Why doesn't, where's Luke Skywalker? Where's his ghost? Hold on now, I think it's coming. Oh yes. Why does the dagger look so stupid? You will see in a moment. What? Oh my god, no. Yes. What? It's happening. Is this the Goonies? Am I watching the Goonies? What is this? Uh, What is this? Yes. (laughs) No. (laughs) No. It's the witness puzzle. No. (laughs) Ugh. It's really convenient she was standing exactly where she was. It's really convenient it didn't move or sink further into the sea. It's really convenient that she knew to do that. With the yeah. Dagger. Like from any other angle that wouldn't have worked. Like what if they had happened to come at a different angle? You know, like they did. They happened to walk like three, you know, meters to the right or something. Can you believe we only... Who is this actress? I recognize her from something. Don't I? I don't know. Can you believe a... we're only one hour into the movie? Ugh, and nothing's happened? This yeah. feels like... <laughs> one hour. This honestly feels like we've already seen like... Three hours? Yeah, like two acts. It's so dense. Every shot has so much going on. This movie is relentless. She's got a a tooth gap, I notice. You don't usually see that in Hollywood. Everybody has perfect fluoride water teeth in America. Remember in The Amazing Spider-Man 2? When Jamie Foxx had a tooth gap and then... I, I have never seen that movie, nor ever will. He had a tooth gap and then when he got his powers, it fi- the electricity fixed his teeth. Oh. Well, that's convenient, isn't it? Is this a new love interest for Finn? Yep. Fuck Rose. Oh. <laughs> Fuck Rose. Fuck Ray. Uh. Isn't this kind of it's li- racist? It's like these it's like these movies don't know what to do with Finn, so they just keep giving him love interests. Wouldn't what do you it, mean wouldn't racist? Wouldn't it have been more progressive to have him stay with Rose? I guess. But I think fans would have hated it. She already kissed him, though. So, like, this is, like, this is cinematic confusion. Imagine if Rose was in this movie and she had to actually 
morally process what she did. Oh my god, and have like an arc. Yes, and like and Finn was what, was mad at her. Morally process what she did, where she almost killed Finn, uh, Finn in that like near kamikaze stunt she did. Well, okay, that this is and good. also like stop him from sacrificing himself from saving the others. And then and what forcing if Finn a was... kiss on him when she didn't even know if he consented or not. Yeah, and what if Finn was actually mad at her and that was their entire arc throughout the movie to reconcile? That could have been interesting. Yeah. This is pretty good, guys. I'm not going to lie. Salem. Again, this movie just feels like they threw everything in the kitchen sink. It's just like, let's just do all this shit. But nothing's really happening. They're just like, you know, they they are just Wait, why hunting are... MacGuffins. I like Finn's new haircut. That's an improvement like, from previous movies. Looks like Finn and Poe were having a bit of a conflict here, but it's like there was no build up to it. And it's just. No. You know, this movie has some really nice special effects, but, uh, you know, special effects without a story doesn't make for a good movie. We've made that joke already in the previous commentary. Oh, well, it's still relevant. Yeah, but it's not original, is it? You ruined the commentary, Daniel. (laughs) Nothing's original. That's true. Are you saying this is not an original movie we're watching? (laughs) The fucking, the what, 11th? 12th Star Wars movie? An original movie while she's fucking climbing the corpse of episode (laughs) 6? This looks like some uncharted ass fucking climbing. Oh my god, it does! (laughs) She did the thing! (laughs) She was levitating in the beginning. Why doesn't she just levitate her way up? You can levitate up. You can only levitate down. No, she was flying. She was in the with the rocks hovering around her in the beginning. Oh, that's right. She's got force push. She's got like force levitate. She's got force healing. She's got the force uh, communication thing with Kylo Ren, but she doesn't have force jump. Oh my God! There we are back at this place. Remember this scene that had emotions in it, where Darth Vader and Luke were having like a really touching battle. Oh no, 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 don't do this. Like the apex of this entire franchise happened right <laughs> here. And <laughs> one of the greatest scenes in the entire, in the entirety of Star Wars. I want to hear Darth Vader's voice go like, no, no, just to really kick the boot in. That's convenient. I mean the no from uh, from the special editions, where he was lifting Palpatine and he went like, no, no. Uh, it's still I wonder why the energy is still on. Yes. Yeah, those generators last a long time. Like, this trilogy could have been about so much interesting stuff. They could have done the Yushang Wong invasion. Have you, do you guys know those guys? No. No. They're on... Uh, it's another MacGuffin! It, well, it's, it's, an, it's the same MacGuffin. It, it's the other Wayfinder. Oh. That Kylo had in the beginning. Yeah. It's the same uh. type... What... Is this garbage? What is this garbage? See, again, th- with his fucking lineage shit. She has never had a real strong pull to the dark. It doesn't feel believable what? now. Yeah, that's they the problem. gave her sharp teeth? Yeah. What is up but with yeah, that? The, the Yushan Wong were these invaders from another, uh, from another galaxy who were immune to the Force. And uh, they decided, I think they decided to invade because they saw that the Empire had been destroyed and they knew that this galaxy was really uh, weak at this point. So, 
Wait, or what was with like that. that evil version of herself? What what was that? It's about lineage, Daniel. It's on the dark side. What did that moment literally exist? Just so she would drop it and Kylo Ren would pick up the MacGuffin? If, if, oh my god. No, it's it's supposed to show her struggle to not go to the dark side. Even though she was never tempted or have any reason to go to the dark side. Yeah. Like it's this scene and the one where she sh- thinks she kills Chewbacca. <laughs> Look at how she, how emotional she is. She's, she was like literally shaking with anger. And she's whipping her lightsaber so far above him, not even trying to hit him. God, how many fights do they have? Fucking hell. Do you think these fights are a metaphor for them having sex? Like, in actuality, they're just supposed to be having sex in there? No. But J.J. Abram wasn't allowed to film it? <laughs> That's going to be my headcanon from now on. Look, it's Bud Spencer again. So it's it's actually supposed to be just really angry sex. Yeah, I think that's very in keeping with their characters. They're having like super force force enabled sex all over the corpse of the Death Star. Splooging all over the place. Yeah. That's what the waters what the ocean is representing there. So like the idea that is there supposed is again, to, yelling at the action. It's supposed to be like, okay, we've seen the idea is supposed to be that we we've seen these two characters throughout these movies. This fight is supposed to be like this emotional climax, but I feel nothing. I feel nothing. That's a referendum on you, Daniel. No, wait, there's a referendum on the movie. Yes. Well, see, they do have the force jump ability. See, what I you told know? you. <laughs> so that that whole thing where she was climbing had like, no reason to exist. Also, is it? Oh, I also, can't also, her. also, is it me, or are they ripping off episode three? But instead of lava, it's water. Oh, hey, that's right. This looks very similar to that fight. It's another overextended fight sequence without a lot of substance. At, At least the fight the... in episode three had like emotional weight behind it. It had a good soundtrack. This is the second wave now. Finn and that other girl are really lucky that they haven't been swept away yet. The waves are only coming in where... Ray and Kylo. Oh no, it's it's gonna c- come soon. Isn't it, Bogan? What is coming? That scene. I'm not sure what you mean, but I don't think it is. Okay, okay. I don't know what scene you're referring to. I'll talk about it when it comes. See, that's a really dumb... Uh, like, what? what is this? It's so... I don't yeah, I don't understand what they're doing. It's so unenergetic. Oh, do you mean that scene? I mean that scene. There are a lot There's... of that scenes in this movie, so I'll I will say for Kylo Ren here. So what um, is is Ray do... just tired? Like what's going on? Yeah, I think she is. I do like how Kylo Ren is just like swinging his blade like a psychopath. I love that. I, he uh, He's doing... Uh, that's the lightsaber fighting from the original movies. I really like it. Oh, there it is. Oh, no. Now the lightsaber oh, no. swinging oh, in the... Oh, no. No. Is she, what? Wait. Is she gonna die? Is she dead? Oh. Whoa. What? Why did Leia die? She was just done. Because Carrie Fisher can't reprise this character anymore. But wait, what? What? 
They just killed two know. characters at the same time. Daniel, this wasn't even the scene I was talking about. I didn't know this was going to happen. <laughs> I, okay, I know which scene you mean. What the fuck is going on in this movie? <laughs> Imagine if throughout the battle, Kylo Ren had been like conflicted about his emotions to his mother or something. This came out of literally nowhere. Yeah. There was no build up to this. I, I, there was a scene earlier when she was like leaning on somebody's shoulder. Oh, she's going to force heal him. Oh, of course. I completely forgot about this. And I was watching that fight scene. I had no fucking idea what his actual goal is. Oh, well. What the... F Isn't his goal to turn her to the dark side? Yeah, I think so, but why? Because he has nebulous motives. He wants to destroy Palpatine and but have sex with Rey over die? the galaxy or something. How did she die? What happened? It's just like her emotions, man. Look, they're friends now. It's, it's fine. See, in my head canon, they were still having sex and uh, she outlasted him. <laughs> she whipped out the strap on. <laughs> oh! <laughs> humbled him so to speak <laughs> dude what what was that what just happened she left where the fuck did these characters go uh, oh look the falcon is repelled oh my god oh, it's, do you think that's actually carrie fisher's corpse under that <laughs> blanket i don't think they're that disrespectful That would have been worth the price of admission alone. They just pull the blanket up and it's like her. Look they dug back. her up. She's beginning to rot a bit. They were just... I think, yeah, that's the girl. This is the woman, right? Who who I thought you meant was uh, Carrie Fisher's daughter. No. Oh, wait, yeah. And then, no, you said Carrie Fisher's daughter is in this movie. And then I saw her and I thought you meant her. And then I said, wow, she's old. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that, 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 that's... Uh, I'm remembering that. Anyway. Also, can we just there talk is. about this? They... Daniel, here the scene is, probably. Yeah. Right, Bogan? Yeah, if you mean that scene, yes. Yes. What, is he going to good now? Oh, uh, wait. Han Solo? <laughs> what? <laughs> People like this scene. They couldn't even get Harrison Ford to shave. Hey, he doesn't get. Or cut his hair. Look at this. <laughs> uh. I'll say it again, though. I I do buy that Adam Driver could be Harrison Ford's son. There is something in the face. It's like the nose and the eyes, or something, right? Sure. Did you guys read the interview where Harrison, which Harrison Ford gave about this scene? No. Uh, in the interview, and uh, he was asked, like, what, what's the deal with this scene? Is, Har is Han Solo a force ghost in this scene? And Harrison For Ford, his reply, word for word was, I don't know what a force ghost is, and I don't care. This is a man who is tired of this character. Uh, which is really sad because he is good as Han Solo. He was great as Han Solo in Force Awakens. I'd say he was one of the highlights in that movie. I'd say he was the like top highlight of that movie. It's strange yeah. that as much as he hates this character, he hasn't lost it. It well, was he's really, a professional. Like, was, like he's, he's he's not a professional though. He's been terrible for the last thirty years. <laughs> <laughs> That's maybe a bit too harsh. <laughs> I was gonna say I don't know about that. He was he was no, great in Blade uh, Runner. In, oh uh, yeah, twenty forty thirty eight years ago. <laughs> no, I meant twenty forty nine. Oh yeah, that's true. But uh, 
that's another character he's uh, reprising. I mean more in the from like the uh, from like Air Force One up until uh, Force Awakens, he really didn't do anything impressive. So yeah, what the fuck was up with that scene? What was that? So did he throw his lightsaber now. away? Yeah, yeah, he did. Kylo Ren is dead. Uh-huh. Ben lives. So so that's it now. Kylo Ren's a good guy yep. because he had a General pep talk tried. with the ghost of his dad. Yep, that's that's bad. But also, that's not his dad's ghost. Han Solo isn't a Jedi. He can't join the Force. Yeah, that's not how the Force works. I don't know. Well, man. details. I don't... <laughs> details. What? What? See this. This is a scene that could have been so resolved oh if it had God. just been like a flash. I forgot about this. No way. What is this? Hmm. Why are their helmets red? Oh, those are the Sith troopers. Oh yeah, that's right. Remember in the, in the last movie they had that that splitting, uh, world destroying laser. Yeah. Now every oh single star destroyer has a. Planet destroying. That's laser. a really good explosion. That reminds me of an explosion from the original. Yeah, it's like it had texture. It had some mass to it. Look cool. Look cool. I'm not gonna I don't lie. Know, I don't know why they blew up the planet though, but look cool. It was a really good explosion. What were you saying, Bogan? Every Is ship this just... has a planet killing weapon now. Every single star destroyer can blow up a planet. Oh, that's really that's really health you for this cinematic universe going forwards that the stakes have been escalated that high yes. eh and and palpatine built this fleet in secret i might you remember oh. you remind you so how did he do that where did he get the funds how did he convince everyone to do this <laughs> in the hand of thrawn books it's a very important plot point that they discover like an ancient fleet which had been left behind or hidden like the Katara free fleet, I recall it being named. It was something like that. It was like this fleet of really powerful spaceships, which was left over from ancient times. Why not do that? Like anything else than this. That would be also be lame. Nah, that was pretty good. Why is Lando in this movie? I because, mean, Lando's because cool. Because they already like, brought up, brought in all the other celebrities. He was the only one left. I guess. Oh, here it is. They're going to kiss. <laughs> Oh, imagine. Imagine if Disney had the balls. Dio. Dio Brando. Have you seen the uh, the video where they first rolled that robot out on stage? It took two minutes before they were making the Dio Brando memes. He's rolling out there yelling re and stuff. Okay, here we're going to see Luke, oh, right? Hold the what fuck on. Doing? What? What is she doing? Uh, forks. Or Dude, they just said that the the weird Jedi hunter that they were looking for in the desert, like his ship, he was the one who was supposed to bring Rey to Palpatine back when she was a little child. Oh, oh there my is. god, here comes another one of that scene. No! I, I, <laughs> I no! I knew it. No. <laughs> this I'm movie so that I knew it. I can't even talk about how the last scene didn't make sense. Here comes the next one. Fuck. See that line doesn't make any res- make any sense in the light of what how Luke Skywalker has grown because he's supposed to know that a lightsaber is not a Jedi's real weapon. Yes. Anyway, Bogan, you were saying the Jedi hunter or something? No, just pay attention. Oh, well, at least we get to see Mark Hamill being Mark Hamill. Which is always a treat. <laughs> yeah. I like that he lost the weight for this role and managed to keep it off. 
He'd become like a bloated pig. She didn't tell me. Oh, that's so Alec Guinness. He, the first thing he does on set is sit down. <laughs> a true professional. They all knew she was a Palpatine. Just didn't say anything. Accepted her. Ugh. Ugh. Wow, Mark Hamill. They really did not do you right by this (laughs) trilogy, I guess. So I'm guessing Han Solo wasn't a Force ghost because he's not glowy? He was just a memory. He can't be a Force ghost. Oh, look, a new lightsaber. Yay. Oh, how convenient. She definitely needed a new one. Mm -hmm. Leia Leia had a saber? Why? Why was Luke? Why did Luke have it? Did he steal it? Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. See, I've seen this scene. One of these characters looks really good. Right there. That's really good. Well, the, this, the face however, isn't really moving. Uh, look at uh, this. Uh, it's not great. So Leia was prophetic too. Yes. You'll take both sabers to Exegol. Look at this vapid nothing. (laughs) (laughs) Wait, what? No, come on. You can't be doing this shit. That X-Wing is dead. It's been in the water for years. Wait, what? What? Are you are you okay? No, this this actually doesn't work because one of the wings was missing. One of the wings was missing. It was the door to Luke's hut. Remember? Chewie ripped it off. Like he ripped the the, the door off. It was the wing. No, but also, Kylo had a wayfinder. And she found the other Wayfinder in the Death Star. Hold and on. now there's Someone's a third one, but right they're... Back. Don't pause it. I'll... I'm not going to miss anything, I don't think. I'll be right back. <laughs> oh my god, Daniel is pulling an Acer and just ditching the commentary. <laughs> can, can we talk about this? No, I, I haven't been paying close enough attention to resolve it. Fuck. Maybe Kylo had. Maybe he just did, faked. Did, did Kylo it. put his wayfinder on the Death Star to bait her? But then why did the dagger lead her there? Man, you give this movie way too much credit, expecting it to make any sense. Ah, oh, this. I I can't. This looks like a really good time in the movie to all of a sudden pivot into C-3PO's memory arc. Yeah. It's very important that we resolve that. Look, Rose. Oh my god, there she is. Uh, did I miss anything? Uh, yeah. Hay- Hayden Christensen came back for a few seconds. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I talk a lot about uh, tired eyes. Hayden Christensen's eyes are so tired. For some reason, she knows where Exegol is. Well, she has the Wayfinder. But but, what was the ship? Oh, she took. Did she take Kylo's ship? Oh, so that's yeah. it. Yes, he took Kylo's ship. Oh, right. Wait a minute. Kylo Kylo destroyed the one she found on the Death Star, and then she just took his ship. That's and right. And it, it happened to be on that ship. 
the other Wayfinder. She just didn't know there were two. How about Nathan Drake? Look, Do you think Oscar Isaacs could play Nathan Drake? Yeah, totally. Yeah, I I think that works. He's this is like this is very important though. They just said that that planet where the the fleet is on, the ships can't take off because they need it. They they have a signal on a tower. Because the the atmosphere is so violent, it's neemnum. and they need that ship from the tower to take off the from the planet. So they are going oh. to destroy the tower that sends the signal. How about instead the resolution of their arc would just be like winning the hearts of the public, instead of having a, the, like the twentieth star battle in this damn franchise. <laughs> You know, something different. Man, this movie... This is like Star Wars on steroids. I just feel... I feel like I'm watching a Michael Bay Transformers movie. (laughs) Oh, God, you're not even wrong. I just feel nothing watching this. Except frustration. Huh. Yeah, maybe Oscar Isaacs would be a good Nathan Drake. It's too bad they already cast Tom Holland. Tom Holland is way too young. What the fuck? It's going to be a young Drake. Fuck that. Well, that's what's happening. Deal with it. I think Mark Wahlberg was... Mark Wahlberg was originally supposed to play Drake like 10 years ago when the movie was first pitched. But um, I think he's now going to be playing Sully in the movie. He's aged... Out of Drake and into Sully. At least I think that's what's uh, what's gonna happen. It may very well just never happen. Should have gotten Nathan Fillion. Mm. That's all I'm gonna say on that. I like how she can just enter the planet's atmosphere, even though the ships can't get out on their own. Oh yeah, mm, whatever. <laughs> I don't. I like how blue everything is. <laughs> it really adds to my ability to uh, know what is going on, to not be able to distinguish anything on screen. I mean, that's a cool shot. Ah, God! Ah, ah red. I'm having a seizure. My went eyes from, went from blue to red. <laughs> like, ah. Oh. Uh, too much Ray, stuff happening Ray, at once. Ray was on Luke's planet, wherever that is. They were on a completely different planet. They are now all on the same planet within the span of two minutes. And also, how did they enter the planet's atmosphere? If the ships can't get out. <laughs> I need to know. You know, there's probably... we're. Uh, almost two hours in now there's probably some listener who's just been like screaming the very obvious answers to all of our dumb questions no there are no obvious answers I've seen this movie (laughs) twice now there are no obvious answers Uh, you guys didn't read this book and it explains every shut up no but (laughs) I mean that's that's a movie thing but the fact that they're just on they can just fly everywhere in the spe- like within a second there's no distance between these planets at all it's so no. convenient I, i'm just like shocked at how this movie lacks any sense of cohesion like nothing feels like it flows into none of the scenes flow into each other correctly they just feel like they just been mashed together forcefully like a kid playing they don't with lead toys. into each other the characters like they they have sporadic agency like for the first 20 minutes they were just being dragged through all of these set pieces this is just oh, set my piece eyes. the movie my eyes I, there's too much stuff going on on screen you guys uh, just stay in one location for like five minutes. Look, they're switching over the navigation signal to one ship. I'm sure that's not that's gonna clever. backfire. 
That ship is not going to to be destroyed. Hey, it's Porkins. Let it be He's back. I don't care. Why don't all the ships send the navigation signal all the time? Because J.J. Abrams huh? needs to make the movie. Finn just Finn had like, a, oh, a force a vision. Finn just found out through the force which ship is, sig- is, is sending out the navigation signal. He's secretly a Jedi. He just said yeah. it, it. Just a feeling. <laughs> He's secretly a Jedi. Fuck it. Why Jam not? The speeders. Who cares? Everyone's a Jedi. Just oh, force powers okay, to I'm everyone. out. I am out. <laughs> I can't. Look, this is the really violent atmosphere that no ship can get out of. But they can ride on on the starships. Wampas. I like how these Why, is, why is BB-8 red. there? Oh. You're doing oh. great, buddy. <laughs> See, I like the idea of like, oh, you have something intense happening and then it cuts to something quiet. Like, that can work, but like, I don't know what she's even trying to accomplish. So there's like no, I, there's no connection. And she's just like here doing something. She's, I don't know what. She's killing Palpatine. This is. Do you guys remember in uh, Return of the King when the battle against Sauron was just a distraction? And the real battle was Frodo's overcoming the will of the ring. Man, the the Lord of the Rings movies are good. This, not so much. Is that an audience filled with Palpatine clones or something? Yeah, it's not entirely clear what they are. They might also be just cultists. Lightning, and then he appears. Do it. Yeah, that's what I'm expecting. Oh, no. He's just there. Oh, he's on life support. Hey there, Palpy. You know what? He kind of looks like Red Letter Media's Mike dressed up as Palpatine (laughs) in those two episodes he did that in. (laughs) He's like bloated a little bit. He was super skinny in Return of the Jedi. He also looks a little bit like GLaDOS with that uh, machine in his back. This is another thing that doesn't make sense. He wants her to take over and rule the galaxy in his place. Why the fuck didn't, didn't he ask his actual daughter, like her mother? Why the fuck did her mother need to get killed? I don't know. I don't care. None of this makes any sense. Excuse me? What's going on here? He wants to take over her body? He's Man. all the soup. It feels like it's trying to harken back to Return of the Jedi, but like... It's Return not... of the Jedi already did that. And much better. Infinitely better. Uh, this is this is noise. Audiovisual yeah, yeah. noise. Ah my eyes. Hey, do you think there's any chance Kylo Ren's gonna fly in and heroically do something? I don't think so. I think we've seen the last of him. (laughs) Man, this makes me want to apologize to, like, prequel fans. Like, you know what? I think this is the worst Star Wars movie. (laughs) Jesus Christ. I can't believe I said that. This movie's fucking bad. I was expecting a train wreck. I did not expect it to be this much of an aggressive dumpster fire. It is so 
fucking inept in every conceivable way. Oh, nobody else is coming. Uh, that's probably the resolution. Uh, Kaloran probably not going to come up. Come and save him. I think he needs these for his ritual where he takes over her body or something. No. You know, that's not actually uh, a bad way of going about uh, his character. Because that's what Darth Bane tried to do right before he died. He tried to take over Darth Xana's body. But he had, like, motive, like his motive was that he thought that uh, she wasn't strong enough to carry on the will of the Sith. And he felt like she had only managed to defeat him by trickery rather than power. And to uh, keep the Sith alive and powerful, he was going to live inside of her and control her. So he had like, there was like a philosophy behind his motives. Palpatine here just sounds like a dude who wants to get into his granddaughter's body for some reason. Yeah. Well, his other body is that, failing, so I gross. think. I, I feel like I need to go back to Knights of the Old Republic and remind myself what good Star Wars is. Yeah. Jesus. Yours. Like, this is... Why... Ray is not tempted by any of this. Why no. would she say yes? Or, like, why did she... Does she even care? Like, it made sense in Return of the Jedi because, like, there was the idea, like, hey, he could be reunited with his father and they could, like rule the galaxy as father and son like you know and and luke ha didn't have a good handle on his emotions throughout throughout the original trilogy so the idea that he could turn was actually like a possibility for his character not for ray ray has been like no. a fucking girl scout this whole movie trilogy see they should have made Adam Driver the main character in these movies. Everybody's made that observation, and we've talked about it extensively. He is so he 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 he's carrying this entire trilogy. I mean, he was one of the more interesting characters in Force Awakens, but they really fucking ruined his character by now. Yeah, but it was like th that idea that. He was like willingly engaging in the destruction of everything he loved because he thought there was something else waiting for him by going down that path. That is so much more interesting than Ray's brand of just, oh, I'll just go here and oh, I'm tempted by the dark, but I'm not. Yeah, you know, I think, it, I think it would have been more interesting. I think no. it would have been more interesting to see someone who's already been like tainted by the dark side try to reconvert to the good to the light side of the force like that would have been an interesting character arc or just not even just have him go to the dark side and that's it and then you can wait for 20 years and then we'll do a we'll continue that story how do they all have blunt weapons convenience how is, how is he not convenience. just how is he not just force choking all of them easily also you know, you ever got a got a like warhammer to your face? That shit is gonna crack your skull. Well, he survived. Yeah, I mean, the, in, uh, in the Mandal crash in the Mandalorian, um, when the blacksmith Mando chick smacked one of those hammers on one of the stormtroopers, it broke his helmet. <laughs> That's because their helmets are crap. Those helmets do more damage than they help. I'd rather go just exposed no armor than with that clanky plasticky stormtrooper armor. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was a dumb why did he do that yeah, pose? Yeah, that was so out yeah, of character. I don't, I don't know what the pose was about. 
Isn't the saber supposed to be green? Or she? No, that was Luke's saber. His no, saber yeah, was green. All right. She has Leia's saber. I felt like Leia in that flashback had the green saber, but probably not. No, that was Luke. Okay. Because that's the same you know, saber he had um, in Return of the Jedi. When the enemies don't have lightsabers or lightsaber immune armor, you really can't just throw it around and like control it with a force to slice all their heads off. You don't need to do the acrobatics. Like what? What I don't understand though is, like, why did he need the lightsaber in that moment? He could have just like force repulsed them all or something like yeah, use lightning or lightning yeah also this this is uh what the life force of your bond what the fuck does that mean it's oh. the thing they mentioned once so what is he like sucking the life force out of them yeah and now that they're both in the same place he can actually take over their power. This is very convenient. He can now restore his his own body so he doesn't need Ray anymore. Is I think the Why didn't he just here. do that then? Because they he, need, he, he they didn't realize. I think there? he just realized this. Oh my god. This is so bad. Like he was surprised by this, but but now he has that power. Oh, that's convenient. Very convenient. Things are really going up healthy. This movie is just a string of conveniences. Alpha 3 is down. How alpha can you be if you go down? Am I right, boys? <laughs> Imagine having the code sign, code name like Beta or something. <laughs> Not me, man. I'd, I'd obviously be an Omega. Omega is the lowest number. Is it really? Yeah. Oh. I thought since <laughs> Daniel. Me- I think I thought since Mega was in it, then it was like better. <laughs> Look, they won over the public. Oh my god, I'm gonna bleed from my eyes. There's too much. <laughs> There's too <Yeah>. much. <laughs> they all the civilian what ships. What the hell is this? <laughs> they all happen to come to the planet at the same time. Even though they came from all over the galaxy. Hey, man, they just Mando, coordinated really well. They've, yeah. got a, they've got a great planner. He knew exactly what he was doing. Or maybe she. Like, how is the First yeah, Order maybe. any... Oh, no, they got him. Oh, God damn it. Who was that? That was Wedge Antilles. Okay. He said he said no to uh, returning to the Force Awakens because he hates Star Wars. How much money did they pay him for that one, like the two seconds he was there? I didn't understand how these people can gather and just fly to this planet. Like, does the First Order control anything? I don't know. I guess not. How the, how oh are God, they it's that character we haven't seen for two hours. Who cares? This you make so a big bad. deal that she's there. Who cares? We saw her character for all of like five minutes. Yeah, look at it. It's an ugly CGI Can walk smoke now. monster. I can't. So his, his robes are black and red? I guess. I guess, yeah. Why did his eyes... Why do they light up in the darkness? Oh. This is very inefficient. Yeah, why didn't he just force pull him onto one of his uh, throne spike thingies? Right through the heart. (laughs) Yeah, could have done anything. Or that. Or yet that. Hey, Asa, remember when you said you want this to end in a bunch of uh, lightning attacks? Oh, yeah. I did, didn't I? You did. 
Ugh. See, they're doing the, the blue subtitles light say thing. laughing evilly. Evilly. <laughs> <laughs> Are you enjoying the show, Ray? Such beautiful hey. colors. It's like, oh, hey, these are nice special effects. It's the Tentative 4 again, and they're ruining it. Would it? Like, this would kill the entire fleet instantly. But it doesn't. Oh, my God, she's Be reaching with out with really? her emotions. Look, it's like a network. Ah, it's like the social network. Young Obi Wan. What? That's Ewan McGregor. Anakin. What? Mace Windu. What? What the fuck? <laughs> Yoda. Qui-Gon? She doesn't even know who any of these people are. <laughs> what, what does this matter to her? Man, remember in the last... I don't even know who some of these characters are. Remember in the last <laughs> Avatar? When the Avatar can talk to the previous incarnations of the Avatar? And it's really good. That's a really... You're really spoiling it to me. <laughs> I haven't seen that. I haven't seen that movie. That's not a spoiler. That's just something to look forward to. The movie? Don't you mean the series? Yeah. Oh, we're not watching the movie? No. The Avatar? Oh. The Last Airbender? I've, I've heard the good I've heard good things. Yeah, but the show, not the movie. I've heard good things about the movie. They say it's a Shyamalan home run. <laughs> I remember when the first trailer came out and it ended with Palpatine laughing. When I was talking to Chris Avalon, I asked him, "What what do you make of that? Do you think Palpatine is back or do you think he's just like a uh, like a ghost or something?" And he was like, "Yeah, I don't I don't quite know." And I said, "It would be really weird if he like came back, wouldn't it? It would kind of undo the sacrifice in uh, episode 6." And Chris Avalon was like, oh, yeah, I, I don't think they're going to bring him back, like, as a main character. He said something like that. Man, we were wrong. You, Why does you two lightsabers work they, better? They were caring this is about so these. schlocky. Oh, my God, he's being dissolved. So all of a sudden, Excuse me, like... is that actually how this plot resolves? Mm-hmm. Because she had an extra lightsaber, she was able to get okay. to, to take I go, him down. I go back to our conversation. <laughs> I go back to our conversation earlier about the lightsaber. Like, so the lesson of the movie then is that a lightsaber is a Jedi's weapon, and that the corruption of the Jedi ways by engaging in lightsabers and fighting and all that stuff. Nah. Well, it's more that she kind of realized all the Jedi are behind her, like all the Sith are behind Palpatine, but that is such an empty moment, and I don't know why it has to coincide with two lightsabers. That's dumb. When one didn't work. Why would she two just, work? She just, she just needed two. Because two is better than one. I mean, you could say the... The second lightsaber represents all the other Jedi, but the first one wasn't hers either. It's not like there's one of symbolism. them was Luke's. One of them is Luke's. The other one is Leia's. So wouldn't it have made more sense if it was simply Luke and Leia speaking to her? Yeah, it would have sucked, but it would have been better than this. Like it, like. Her victory has nothing to do with her conflict as a character or anything. No. No. But, like, at the very least, they could have said something like, you hold our lineages in your hands, you know, you you now carry the torch for us, or some shit like that. It still would have been dumb, but, like, at least it would have been somewhat 
sensible and consistent. I uh, better oh, drop them. Fuck these things. Why is she dropping them? Just, she's just put them in your pocket. Oh, right. She's tired now. Okay. Oh, okay, my God. The best scene is coming up. Oh, so wait. He has the force. Yeah. Imagine if they'd have done something with that. Is the movie over yet? No, no, no. The best scene is coming up. Daniel, there's yeah, 20 minutes of the movie you left. You haven't seen anything don't, yet. Don't tell me that. All right. Here it comes. No, I think there's 15 minutes left. No, there's probably two minutes left and then 18 minutes of credits for all the Korean animators who were murdered putting this thing together. You're probably right. I almost forgot about him. Because there's so much garbage just thrown in your face constantly in this movie. It's like it's easy to just like forget things because it's just so much shit. Man, remember how excited everybody was for Star Wars before Force Awakens came? It was like, oh, yeah, we like Star Wars. We want to see more of this. You if know, I never fair, have to watch a to Star be... Wars movie again in my life, I'll be I'll die a happy man. To be fair, Force Awakens itself wasn't bad. It was not great, but it, it was fine. It was, it was totally fine, but, I mean, I'm not crapping on The Force Awakens. I'm just saying... It took like four years for Disney to completely ruin any good faith people had to this franchise. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Disney fucking ruined it. Oh, Mandalorian here we go. is good though. Maybe maybe they can Here we go. Oh, is is it gonna do force oh, healing? Yeah. Because he learned from her how to do it. Yes. But that's not all, Daniel. <laughs> oh, Asa knows where this goes. Yeah, you talked to me about it once. You told me. Well, are they going to kiss? His hand oh right God. on her womb. Oh, she becomes pregnant. Imagine, Daniel. I made it's you a Christ pregnant allegory. with the force. <laughs> like Anakin. <laughs> Here oh it is, God! Daniel. No, it's, no! That's all they have to say. No, don't tell me they kiss. No, no! Oh no! <laughs> Someone Star actually Wars... clapped. One person clapped when I saw this in the in the theater. Star Wars is who dead. claps in the theater? What monster was that? One single person, and then Star Wars is dead. They immediately stop. <laughs> that's good. That's it. Star Wars and is dead. There it is, Daniel. <laughs> what, now he's dead. He's dead. The best character. The best character they had going forward. Gone. I like how he just falls over. Adam Driver. Adam Driver doesn't want to do this anymore. He's gone. He's See ya. Gone. <laughs> <laughs> he fades into the forest. No more Skywalkers, Daniel. Wait, it's wait, over. Wait, not did, did they just imply that Leia? finally went into the force just now she needed to wait for her son to die before uh, she could go with the force yeah i don't know wow uh star wars is dead <laughs> uh look at that it's the next wing. oh there she is does she have kylo ren's corpse crammed into that tiny space with no kylo ren's oh, no, corpse disappeared. just disintegrated disappeared sorry guys i'm i'm dumb you know if she were a really good girlfriend she would have you know put on his sweater taken that with her taking the taking his pants and his shirt you girls love doing that they love wearing your clothes that is true i'm not sexist by saying that this is oh good god are we in cloud city now for a well, second there, I not, thought I was... It's not it's... sexist to say that, you know, there are girls that like to wear, oh. you know, their boyfriend's he clothes. Walks. No, that's just what they do. Also, girls like driving cars that don't have big trunks. That's uh, that's not sexist either. This is just the way things are, guys. <laughs> well, I don't know about that. 
It, no, like there are girl. Some girls don't, but ninety percent of cars with tiny trunks are driven by girls. At least in Iceland, it may be That's completely a bizarre generalization to make. But uh, whatever. it's it's not in Iceland. I can I can say that much. In Iceland, it's very true. I've checked. No, I was I mean, told I mean, this, and I thought so- there's a lot of soccer moms. I like to drive like SUVs. Yeah, but I'm not saying all girls drive cars with small trunks. I'm saying why are we on this God. topic? <laughs> because I don't want to. I don't want to sound as sexist as I am. <laughs> no, uh, I was does, told does this, and I thought. I was nope. told this, and I thought, "Oh no, that can't be right." But then I couldn't stop seeing it. Anyway, there's that slug monster. All so, these. So oh my God, that? a lesbian kiss. That's okay, sure. That's the scene they they cut out in China. <laughs> Along with all the uh, Finn scenes, I think. No, <laughs> just that one lesbian scene. Look, he got his medal. Hey, that's the one good thing in this movie. What? Oh my god. <laughs> he finally got his medal. That's that was a scene solely for the fans. That has no place in the movie. Yeah, it does. Are they going to kiss? It really doesn't. It's stupid. <laughs> But hey, Are they at gonna least he kiss? got his medal. Nah, probably not. That's like really, really stupid. But I like it anyways, because Chewie always deserved his medal. Yeah. Imagine if it had been given to him by a character relevant to his uh, to yeah, him. If they weren't all kid. dead. <laughs> if imagine if uh, if Lando he gave it to it. her. Like it would have made more sense if Lando did it. The gold system. The, these two characters, why, why are they on screen together? I don't know. These characters I have do. had like no... This is their first time even being on screen together. And yeah. all of a sudden they're like, let's go on an adventure. What okay. the fuck is... Oh. See, I think the novelization... I haven't read it and I'm never going to. But I okay. think the novelization alluded to him being her dad so like this movie to me so like force awakens was very clearly like this is supposed to be um a new hope right this movie yeah. is absolutely trying to be like return of the jedi and is like worse in every conceivable fashion i don't know oh uh, they don't have that in crappy second half on the on uh the forest moon of endor but they had Dude. an entire crappy movie the, yeah. yeah the uh, entire movie is bad even oh the God, low po- even the low points of return of the jedi are nowhere near as bad as literally anything in this movie <laughs> that's true are you ready now oh, here it comes this here is going to be what? the last one of the that no. scene no <laughs> Luke's parents? No, it's un- his aunt and uncle. Yeah, yeah, they yeah, yeah. Here. You're right. His aunt and uncle. My bad. Why is she here? Oh, you will find out. What the? F- She's gonna live here. We. Hey, you know what? That was pretty good. I won't that lie. Looked, that looked kind of fun. Like, the why? movie has been redeemed in my eyes. <laughs> People died here. <laughs> oh, that's right. What happened to the burning skeletons? <laughs> <laughs> what is she? <sighs> okay. Yeah, you can't have her dig her own hole. That's what? Fine. She used the force to like okay, whatever I guess. What is this? She has a new lightsaber now? And it's yellow.
Skywalker? Is that what she's going to say? I asked you a question, nice. bitch. <laughs> That's really bad CGI, Leia. Ugh. Uh, Ugh. Hey, remember the place where Luke grew up and he fucking hated it? And his, his aunt and uncle were murdered there? Let's go back there and have an emotional scene. Yeah. And have some random old lady just. Who are you? That should have been the actress who, uh, who uh, felt the wind in her bones in the Phantom Menace. She's probably dead. <laughs> no, she's like a hundred and ninety years old. <laughs> oh my god! Ugh, this I hated was, this. This movie was worse than I expected. And I went into it expecting it to be bad. And it was somehow worse. I f- I'm so happy we did this, this, you guys. I fucking hated this movie. Are Star oh Wars fans God. happy now? Are they happy now? Like, this is what happens when you nitpick everything to death. And the studios cow- cave into your demands. And they strangle these creatives and force them to make the shit you ask for. This is the sort of garbage they make. Say what you want about The Last Jedi. It's not this. The Last Jedi is a fucking masterpiece compared to this. And I don't even think The, Ma- the Last Jedi is all that great. Like, it's really not. That's this... the problem. Is like... there a post credit scene? Uh, no. Okay, I'm going to close this off. <laughs> <laughs> don't want to listen to this anymore. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Ugh. What are your final thought gu- thoughts, guys? Every aside from everything we've been <laughs> discussing this whole time, <laughs> it's exactly as bad as I remembered. Uh, I mean, I, I saw this what five months ago, six months ago. What? This is the most cynical movie I've probably ever seen. <laughs> Like, they, ev- oh everything God. The Last Jedi did that people complained about, they were like, well, gonna retcon that. Gonna write the exact same opposite of that. Can't oh, have the Ky- fans rethink Ky- this franchise. Kylo Ren, he, he, he fucking fixes his helmet in, in, in direct out and like, Argh! Luke just Fuck. comes comes back and says the exact same opposite of what he was saying in in The Last Jedi. Literally the exact same opposite. Everything. Mm. He throws away the lightsaber and then he catches it. I didn't lie to you. They choose to be no one. Like, Yeah, they sold you for drinking money. Except they didn't. No, they didn't. They didn't. They clearly didn't. Here's my question. Can they salvage this? A new trilogy with these characters. No, can they do no, it? this is over. No, this shit is so it's over. It's ruined. No, you know what? You know what, guys? I'm, I'm actually kind. I, I want to see it. I want to see what they try to make. But it's not like these characters are defined now or anything. Nope, I know. <laughs> Just imagine, like the next movie, it's the same characters and Palpatine is back <laughs> again. <laughs> <gasps> oh no no let's uh let's stop we don't need more star wars movies you're gonna I get don't, them i don't want to see another star wars movie you know what bogan i'm i'm putting star wars in the same uh same sorting cabinet i do these fucking superhero movies i'm not gonna watch them unless they're good i don't care i am done with this there's only three good ones um excuse me you are going to watch them with me and daniel and we're going to record a movie commentary track and then put it on wait, youtube i'm never what? paying for them i'm not wait. paying for them wait what oh. <laughs> we we have an obligation now to cover every star trek movie that 
a Star Wars movie that is coming out. I was gonna say I am. I was gonna. I was gonna say movie Vulcan. I I was gonna say I didn't agree to no Star Trek movies. Oh, although did I, I say Star I mean, Trek before that too? You you said Star no. Trek. Oh, you said Star Trek, but you corrected. See, me. I like Star Trek. Well, I like. I, I watched nerd. Wrath of Khan. Wrath of Khan is fucking awesome. You know what movie is pretty good, actually? Uh, Star Trek Into Darkness. That movie is pretty good. Oh, fuck you. I'm not going to lie. Get, get out of here. Having what do you Spock, mean? Having Spock have a fucking fist fight with Khan, with fucking Cumberbitch. Yeah, that's more fun than the old movies, where it was just like a metaphor for science fiction oh, and shit. Oh, well, it was smart <laughs> and philosophical <laughs> and ethical. I'm fucking with you. <laughs> that movie sucks. Dude, Star Trek 4 is fucking awesome when they're trying to find the whales. That shit's great. Star Trek Beyond, I didn't hate that one. That was sort of a silly sci-fi movie. That was a nothing that was okay. movie. Yeah, that was a nothing movie for me as well. Like I, I was just like, yeah, that was certainly something I saw. Do you remember the scene earlier in this movie where... Uh, Fuck, I hate this movie. I hate it. What are we going to watch next, guys? I don't know. What's not, the next commentary going to be? Not Star Wars. I mean, I made a suggestion and Daniel was like... <laughs> so now I think oh, yeah, you, Daniel should be you wanted to, recommending something. You wanted to do Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah. No, thanks. I don't want to do that either. But, are we going to do The Mandalorian? No. Why not? Because I just Cause watched good. that, and that's eight episodes. So yeah, that's like eight hours of content. Yeah, we'll just watch like two a day, and I. What about the Highlander movies? No, nobody's gonna watch that. <laughs> what about Waterworld? What? What? Who do you think what? watches commentaries? Well, what the fuck do you want to watch? I was thinking we should do the entire Marvel Cinematic Universe. <laughs> no, I refuse. <laughs> See, all I hear from you guys is no. No, no, no. We'll, fi- we'll, we'll figure something out. I hope you uh, enjoyed listening to this maybe, commentary. M- maybe we should double down and do the Star Wars prequels. Uh, I feel like... Uh. What, what is left to say about the Star yeah. Wars prequels? It has all been said. We'll, we'll figure something out. I gotta go. Um, thanks for watching this. Leave your suggestions in the comments if you want to see something. If it's crap, you can shove that comment where the sun don't shine. We're not watching that. Comment Suggest down something. below if you want to see us do the prequels. I'll, I'll be there. That's kind of limiting me, Asa. If what? we can't watch yeah, crap, I know. that's, that's going to be a deliberate. problem. I know. I know that, book, and It's deliberate. <laughs> After watching this movie, I now want to see if the prequels are as bad as this. They are. They are shit. They're fucking terrible. But are they this shit? Does it matter? No, they're, it's, it, it it's does the exact inverse. Like... They, have, they have good ideas and no production values. This has no ideas and a lot of production values. But it's just a, a, a different smelling pile of turds. Don't you anyway, love that, we're, we're 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 ending this. We're ending this, guys. Stop. The credits are still thanks. rolling. Thanks. To, thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Bye.